welcome back to online class children i hope everybody are safe at home okay now look at the screen can you see a word search game is given there and also i have given you eight words now you are going to identify all these eight words okay now 30 seconds for you to find the answers right your time starts it's already started quickly 30 seconds to find the answers 16 15 4 you have only 6 seconds 5 3 2 1 okay stop are you happy okay now today's lesson we are going to learn about prepositions have you heard about this word prepositions yes you have already learnt in your lower class okay now let's see what are prepositions and we are also going to learn few prepositions in which in some places we have doubt okay where to use on where to use above over so all these words are confusable words okay so now in this lesson i will teach you the rules where to use all these prepositions and children i hope after you watch this lesson you will be clear where to use all these prepositions okay now before we move on to the words prepositions now tell me what is the definition of preposition can you see prepositions pre position what is mean by pre pre is something which is added before okay so from this word you can i you you know that preposition is a word which is placed before something so actually the definition for preposition is a preposition is a word used before a noun or a pronoun to show direction location or time okay so pre position preposition so a word which is placed before a noun or pronoun to show the direction location or time okay now let's see a few prepositions now to uh, now look at the slide uh, i have taken on above and over okay all these are talking about uh, only one thing so something which is above which is on okay now we have to know where to use on above and over okay now look at the um, ru uh, the definition for on okay where to use on actually uh, on indicates a position above but touching the object okay on touching the object so something which is placed on okay that that object touch something okay so let's see the example the phone is on the table can you see the phone is on phone is touching the table can you see that so when something indicates a position touching the object we have to use on okay the phone is on the table okay now let's see where to use above above indicates a much higher position than the preposition on does so i told you on indicates a position where the object should touch now above is something higher position than the preposition on does it also indicates something out of reach okay so we cannot touch that it is out of reach okay so in such case we have to use the preposition above okay let's see the sky is above my head can you touch the uh, sky no we cannot okay so something which is out of reach so here we have to use the preposition above okay now let's see where to use over over means 
a position between on and above which is not touching so over is something uh, which will not touch the object which is not out of reach something in between over is between on and above okay uh, let's see the example sentence a, a bird flew over my head a bird flew over my head so the bird is not touching my head and it is also not uh, out, uh, out of reach also okay so over means a position between on and above which is not touching okay so uh, on above and over are you clear with these three prepositions children on is used where we can touch the object uh, above is something which is out of reach over is something which we should not touch okay now let's see uh, where to use under and below okay under and below is something which is down okay so let's see under under is the opposite of on and means below the surface of something okay something which we keep under okay uh, the book is under the table the cat is under the table okay so look at the picture can you see the cat is under the table it is it is below the surface okay so under is the opposite of on and means below the surface of something let's see where to use below below indicates something at a slightly lower position than what under indicates let's see the example i have a scar just below my right eye okay so now here uh, can you see below indicates something that is slightly lower position than what under indicates under is something uh, which is a, which touch the surface uh, below is something which is in the lower position so you have to find the difference between under and below and let's see where to use through across beside in front of behind now let's see where to use the preposition through what is through is something which is go through go into through indicates a motion in the middle of something motion is something moving the train uh, moves through the tunnel so through so the it says about the movement they came through a forest they are walking through the for through a forest okay so through is used where we can move into across means going to the other side of a river or road or something straight across i walked across the road i walked across the road across the river across the street so across means going to the other side of a river or road or something which is straight it may be a uh, street it may be a, a whatever it is okay so across is used it means going to the other side of a, a river or road let's see a few more uh, examples for uh, in front of beside behind i think you all already know what is mean by in front of some an object which is in front of me so i have a chair in front of me i have a table in front of me so some object is placed in front of you okay so see the example he parked his car in front of my house in front of my house can you see the preposition in front of he parked something is placed in in front of something now let's see the next example the car beside the cycle is mine what is mean by beside beside is we can also say next something which is next to me so here the car is the car beside the cycle is mine it says the position now let's see the third one behind go behind that tree so behind is something which is back 
the it says the position something which is back behind go behind the tree let's see where to use at in on now at is used for a specific point or place an exact address an event for example there is a dog at the top of the steps here i am just pointing the specific place the specific point where the dog is can you see the dog is at the top of the steps so here at can you see at i am using for as a for the specific point or a place now let's see the second example mary lives at 56 tagu street okay now here uh, i am specifically pointing where mary is living can you see mary lives at 56 that number in that street now if you see the next example mary lives on tagu street what is the difference between these two sentences both sentences is talking about where mary lives but there is a difference can you see in the first sentence i have added at and in the second sentence i have given on because on mary lives on tagu street is not a specific place in tagu street i didn't mention the door number or a, a flat number anything but in the first sentence here i am just uh, pointing the door number of uh, mary's uh, house okay so here specifically i am pointing the place so i am using the preposition at but in the second case second sentence i am not using the specific place so i have added on in the sentence let look at the last one i was at a party last night so here is uh, i have used at because party is an event all right children so uh, at is used for the specific point of uh, place point or place an exact address events let's see where to use on now look at the uh, definition and it on is used in enclosed space a large place with boundaries towns or cities can you see the examples given here first one my books are on the table so here Uh, i am just talking about the position of the object so something which is placed on the object previously i told you on is used where the object touch okay now let's see the second one she is wearing a ring on her finger now here this is talks about the a uh, uh, um an enclosed space here okay something something which is on her finger so she is wearing a ring on her finger now let's see the last one london is on the river thames again it's a large place with boundaries towns or cities i will use the preposition on now let's see where to use in in we have to use inside i uh, inside something i have an apple in my bag jane lives in london here something which is inside something which talks about the position something which is inside and also the place it also talks about the place now children i hope you have uh, understood where to use all these prepositions what are the prepositions we learned today on above over under below behind in front of through across at in ha huh. 
too many prepositions we have learned today i think children next time when you frame a sentence or you write a paragraph see that you just place the prepositions in a proper way okay here i have given you an exercise now let's see can you see the picture so you are going to identify where the picture is placed so you will be using the suitable preposition for each picture first one the clock is dash the pillow what is the answer under the pillow can you see the clock is under the pillow next one the trousers are dash the bed on the bed can you see the picture can you see here clock trousers now next one is third one. the animals are dash the room inside the room the desk is dash the wardrobe and the bed look at look at the desk where the desk is here can you see the desk here it is it is uh, the wardrobe is here and bed is here so what is the um, uh, preposition you have to use between the desk is between the wardrobe and the bed next one the wardrobe is dash the desk can you see the wardrobe in the picture yes the wardrobe is behind the desk the picture is dash the wardrobe it is next to it can you see the picture yes now next one the sock is dash the shoes near the shoes the desk is dash the wardrobe in front of the wardrobe the last one is the magazine is dash the guitar below the guitar i hope everybody got the correct answer okay children um please take up the kahoot thank you children have a nice day while playing kahoot make sure you enter the correct pin admission number and your name and also watch the supplementary video children have a nice day